welcome to the H-Town Horseshoe. My name is Michelle Duvall, the Mayor's Social Media Manager, and welcome to another episode where we're going to give you the inside scoop on all the city departments and Mayor Turner's initiatives. What's up, Houston? I'm Javelle Johnson, Deputy Press Secretary for the Mayor's Office of Comms, and our featured guest for today is the lovely Gracie Chavez. She is the uh, Music and Cultural Tourism Officer for the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs. Whew, tongue twister. <laughs> uh, and she's here to dish about all things art, music, culture, and everything in between. Welcome, welcome, Gracie. Thank you both for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So let's let's get into it. Uh, so the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs, or MOCA, as we like to call it, you guys, uh, are, it's all about fostering uh, in, an environment where the marriage of, of culture and arts can thrive and be both beneficial to Houstonians and visitors, right? That's right. And yeah. you guys put together a myriad of programs and activities all throughout the year. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and then maybe any upcoming special events that you guys have going on? Wink, wink. <laughs> sure. Thank you both again for having me. Um, so I guess uh, I'd at least like to start by saying that, you know, the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs has been uh, really supportive of our creative community for many, many years. They've done a really wonderful job of supporting, you know, public art, civic art, you know, all the visual arts, um, you know, across the city. Um, but more recently, in the last two years, um, the uh, uh, the mayor has you know decided to or, or is you move forward with you know um, supporting our music community, mm -hmm. and so I represent that uh, you know a person leading up that work for the mayor. Um, so this position you know again two years ago was created, mm -hmm. and so I am the uh, city's very first music officer. Wow. Breaking the <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, you know, now we feel like, you know, the music community or the music industry has a, um, you know, um, a way to amplify their voice, you know, with with our administration, not this one, you know, not just this one, but, you know, for future administrations. And so um, in the beginning, you know, the, be the beginning of uh, 2022, when I started uh, my work, um, you know, I did uh, help s certify the city of Houston with the governor's Texas music office as a music friendly city. Oh, wow. That was one of the goals that Mayor Turner was uh, really actively seeking. Um, and in that work, um, I was able to um, draft an ordinance mm -hmm. uh, for the concept of a music advisory board mm -hmm. for the city of Houston. Um, we got that uh, passed with city council unanimously. And so that set forth our efforts to put together a group of nine members, board members, three alternates that represent, you know, a facet, you know, across the board, oh, you know, f yeah. of, of uh, you know, expertise mm -hmm. professionals in our music industry that will not only advise our office, but for future administrations as well. So um, last year we started work with, um, you know, the music community. We hosted a, a couple of listening sessions. Mm -hmm. Folks were able to come come through mm -hmm. and, um, you know, provide us, you know, either some feedback, um, maybe some missed opportunities. Um, this is really truly the first time the city's um, opened up their doors, so to speak, to hear what the community had to say. At the top of the year, um, we um, were able to take that, you know, information and really um, focus on um, this year, the board uh, voted to focus on three thematics okay, based on that feedback, mm -hmm. on that data. And um, what came out of that was uh, focusing on music education okay. for the year. Mm -hmm. uh, collaboration and the preservation of, of music um, another part of that work also was to continue the um, celebration the global celebration of music as Javal you mentioned earlier um, you know make music day doesn't just happen here in Houston mm -hmm. but it is a global celebration there's over a thousand cities that you know Houston has finally joined in um, participating, so we work really closely with the French consulate, um, and the tie there is that you know, uh, Fête de la Musique um, started in 1982 in Paris, France. Okay. So you know, we want to continue to foster that relationship with our consular corps as well. So you you kind of brought it as a partnership 
in between you two. Um, I want to know about all the partnerships that are going on with Make Music Day. Who are the people that are coming to help us celebrate here in Houston? Okay, um, that's easy. I think, you know, earlier, um, you know, the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs, or MOCA, as, as we like to call it around here, um, um, started or um, created an agreement mm -hmm. to continue to support um, Reading with a Rapper. Okay. And so that is a literacy program, you know, that is uh, based here in Houston. Um, they have a program that is pi being piloted right now in HISD in middle schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they've done is they've taken a local rapper, created an album and a curriculum. I like that. Right. I like that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And so, um, you know, at the top of the year, they, um, like I said, you know, have been implemented. Their curriculum has been implemented in five, you know, schools. Mm -hmm. And the idea is um, to go national. Mm -hmm. So cities like Chicago, L.A., Atlanta, um, D.C., uh, will eventually get their own Reading with the Rapper program. So we're really proud to have partnered with them. And so um, while the leading message or the primary message is literacy throughout mm -hmm. the year, mm -hmm. uh, we kind of switch it up in the summer. Okay. And, um, you know, because they are Reading with the Rapper um, and these kids are learning, you know, uh, you know, English and sentence structure, similes, metaphors through um, their lyrics, mm -hmm. um, what we do in the summer with, you know, our partnership with them with Make Music Day is then focus on... On the local musician. So this is also an, an opportunity for our local musicians to eventually partner up with Legends to Live, which is a nonprofit that, you know, runs this program mm -hmm. to um, possibly in the future, you know, um, also create a curriculum around their work. Wow. I love the forward thinking. Yeah. yeah. That is beautiful. So, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is Houston's third year participating That's in right. global initiative. Mm -hmm. correct? That's right. Okay. Yes. So in terms of programming for this year, what can we all look forward to? So, um, you know, we will have an opening ceremony here at City Hall as we have the last, couple, you know, three years, two years, sorry. Um, um, but it really is something that is happening. These events are citywide. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of our partners has also been um, Houston Public Libraries. Okay. So you'll see a lot of activations at our libraries and probably... Um, really good timing with our heat mm -hmm. <laughs> happening right now, as we call it our preheat. Okay. Yes, 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 right. Because we know Houston can get hot. It's going to get hot. <laughs> yeah. It will. Yeah. But with a lot of these cooling stations being activated, it might be just a great time to, you know, absolutely, yeah. And um, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, it being summer school or yeah, kids are out for mm -hmm. for you know from school for the summer. Another great way to come um, bring your kids. Um, see some, you know, free, live, wholesome, you know, mm -hmm. shows at our, our public libraries. Last year, for example, we also activated some stations at um, Metro okay. on the line. Um, and we've also partnered with uh, the local chapter of uh, American uh, Federation of Musicians, which um, sponsor uh, union members. So if you're a musician and you're, you're a union member, they will also, you know, they have funds to also help, you know, your performances. So it really is like not just, you know, performances for the city, but it also helps enhance and uh, engage more musicians. So that is real. Uh oh. So, Val, I think it's time. Is it that time? It is game time. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, we have a game here called 520. Um, you have five questions and you got 20 seconds to answer them, okay? okay? Yeah. Um, so, Javelle is going to kick off the first question and I will handle the timer. I will start the time after she asks the first question. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh -huh. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> On a national scale, roughly how many U.S. cities participate in Make Music Day? So last year, over 100 cities nationwide participated in over an almost 4,000 uh, free live events. What year did Make Music Day make its way to the U.S.? 2007, New York City. Where can people go to find out more information about Make Music Day Houston? MakeMusicDay.org slash Houston. How many years has Houston celebrated Make Music Day? Three. Oh! And uh, technically, uh, uh, you did answer number two. Regarding the origination date. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, we were yeah. on number five, which I'll go ahead and just. <laughs> yeah. So uh, where and when did Make Music Day originate? You mean yeah. that? It was um, Paris, France, um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, and it was in 1982. Uh, you know, that relationship with our French consulate has been so um, insightful yeah. because a lot of their members there have been 
part of you know what happens in make me you know make music day every first day of summer yeah. and it doesn't just happen in paris it you know happens like all across the country all across the world so yeah we're really happy that you know we're participating in this and uh, as people are finding out more about it mm -hmm. it has uh less to do with how professional you are yes i've noticed that <laughs> yeah less you know about how professional you are it also uh you know you know, encourages, you know, those folks that have never been in front of a, a an audience. Mm -hmm. um, last year, in fact, we did it. We had a talent show Are we here. One this year? Absolutely. Yes. So, city. Are you going to be at the talent show, Janelle? You may not want me to. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll be there cheering. I'll be on the cheer Great. squad. And you know, and if you don't want to participate, definitely want to bring you bring you down to the legacy room and have us um, a join in cheering for people. It's all out of love. Yeah. So <laughs> last year we we had a gentleman that came down and played acoustic guitar for us. He had never played in front of an audience. Yeah. Yes, Unreal. that was amazing. In fact, he I think enjoyed the spotlight so much he asked to do it again. Oh. So he's coming back. Oh, he has to do it again that day. Oh, he was <laughs> ready. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's all you need sometimes is just kind of shake off the nerves yeah, and, yeah. you know, so hopefully that encourages folks to, you, you know, know you, you got me convinced now. I pull yeah. up my saxophone. Wait, why don't we do a scene to that, uh, together? Oh, let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we can mm -hmm. ask. Mm -hmm. We can get up there and ask. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Good. So, so really quickly, just out of curiosity, what's the significance with doing it on June 21st? It's the longest day of the year, okay. summer solstice. Okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. First day of summer, um, and you know, typically, what you know, if you maybe forty years ago, forty some years ago, maybe it wasn't this hot, mm. but you know, there's a lot of uh, outdoor activities involved. I mean, of course, indoor as well, and also you know, live streamed a lot of you know, um, online, you know, performances. Some there have been some performances this year that have registered as a hybrid as okay. well. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's something yeah. for everyone. Absolutely, there's no excuse. You can tune in. In, come in person, yeah. take part. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and yes. sharing Mech Music Day with us. It was really insightful. I'm excited because this is going to be yes. my first one, so okay. I'll definitely be up there. You might catch me and Javel on that stage yeah. acting together. Yeah. Absolutely. And I got some tambourines <laughs> and some maracas for you. So, <laughs> so just to remind everyone, Make Music Day Houston is on Wednesday, June 21st. Mm -hmm. And to learn more about all of the exciting things Smoka has to offer, please visit www.houstontx.gov backslash cultural affairs and again it was such a pleasure chatting with you thank, thank you, you so much for gifting your time today. Mm -hmm. so let's just get out there and make music yes <laughs> and we'll catch you guys next week on the horseshoe make sure to follow us on social media until then peace <laughs>